met on set and you know it was this extraordinary thing I didn't meet Johnny Depp I met Whitey Bulger um, and I only met physically what Johnny looks like <laughs> almost a year later in England when he was doing something here and I was on the same I was in the same studio and I put my head around the corner and went hello and it sort of set our friendship back about six notches I, I was at the embarrassed oh my god I'm meeting Johnny Depp stage <laughs> somebody had already just played his brother but Johnny Depp has turned his colleagues into friends and his friends into family. Judging by how the amazing pirate has spread his warm act of kindness to the people he's worked with and accommodated. Widely known to be a free-spirited person, Depp's sudden switch of mood caught the attention of his loved ones. One of them is Benedict Cumberbatch. While the Pirates of the Caribbean star thought he could conceal his pain from his buddy, Doctor Strange seemed to have been to the past and future and predicted what Depp might be going through. How close could these two have been that Cumberbatch saw what we couldn't clearly see. What details did he pay attention to? Why not stay glued to your screen and see if you can learn some of Doctor Strange's skills? Cumberbatch and Depp have not only experienced what it means to be a family in the movie Black Mass, but they also have chosen to be friends after the movie and in no time, their friendship moved up a notch as they have become more like brothers. The Pirates of the Caribbean star acknowledged this notion in the interview with BBC. He's become like a real-life brother. The setup we were playing was an unusual one. One brother becomes a politician, the other is king of the underworld. They still meet up for family dinners in church, just from opposing sides. It takes an actor with a lot of ability like Benedict to make that credible. One of the platforms that brought the two actors closer, Benedict Cumberbatch had to put his acting skills to the test by trying to intimidate otter impressions on the Graham Norton show and Johnny Depp was by his side giving him his brotherly support. But while the show was on, the Sherlock star couldn't help but notice how with drawn as Buddy was. You should know that the show aired some months after the Pirates of the Caribbean star's honeymoon with his now ex-wife Amber Heard. And with the information that's been revealed on what may have turned the honeymoon into a disaster, it's logical to say that Depp had a reason to be withdrawn and constantly lost in thoughts. Noticing this, Cumberbatch took up the responsibility of cheering Depp up by being so humorous on the show and giving him warm embraces at intervals. Taking another look at the show, we can notice a part where the Pirates of the Caribbean star claimed Cumberbatch was sitting far apart from him and urged him to move closer. Could his honeymoon have contributed to his loneliness and how he must have felt with Cumberbatch sitting a little far away from him? Well, it all makes sense now. During the show, it was also discovered that Johnny Depp is deathly afraid of giant teddy bears, but it sure seemed as though the actor wasn't scared of the teddy bear that appeared on the show. He also is terrified by something else he was hiding. Some fans who pay close attention to Depp's body language and composure during the show deduce that one could tell by his demeanor that despite the laughs, he was in sad shape. While a few wonder how someone who has shown a fear of a teddy bear can turn out to be an abuser, one fan speculated. The woman beat him up on their honeymoon. He was already neck deep in abuse before they got married. Johnny was suffering right before her eyes and if you look at a timeline of pics of videos during his time with her, you can clearly see how withdrawn, insular, and sad he becomes. And this was something Benedict also noticed. He saw how broken Depp was and he could tell he was hiding something. Another wrote, I remember Depp on the Graham Norton show before all the stuff came out about Amber Heard. I actually remarked at the time what's wrong with him, it doesn't look like drugs, he seems just really sad. He just seemed like he had the weight of the world on his shoulders and was missing his usual spark, one fan added. In view of his fear of teddy bear, one fan wrote, and Amber Heard claims that Johnny is a violent one and yet here we have him scared of a giant teddy bear and Benedict just going full WWE on it. Another commented, exactly, so I don't understand how he could be the one abusing, he was scared of an inanimate object. In one of his red carpet interviews, the Sherlock star was asked to describe his co-star Johnny Depp and this is what he had to say. He is so easygoing, so lighthearted, and he never draws on a celebrity of status. He is a world-class actor. He was like, hey man, how are you? It's so cool we get to hang out and do this movie. 
I love him. He is very generous and a loyal human being. It was really easy to talk about the conversations that we may or may not have had as real characters and brothers and how we would represent that on screen. Well, the two stars truly seem to be off-screen brothers, and this would also mean that Cumberbatch's loyalty lies with Johnny Depp's team. In the light of the fans applauding their very own Doctor Strange, they commended his kind-hearted nature and stated that he is one of those celebrities that are big on loyalty, a fan wrote. This is really sweet, but I'm actually surprised that more actors and actresses haven't stood up for him in the press. Some have, but many haven't. Are they all just afraid? I saw that show and I thought Ben and Johnny were really sweet, but I did notice a sadness in Johnny. Indeed, time has a way of shining light on true intentions. It's so nice that so many never gave up on JD. The world stood by his side while most of Hollywood pushed him away. Cumberbatch is one of those who seems strong enough to stand out for his friends, another responded. Oh dear, there are indeed good people in this world and fans have confirmed that Cumberbatch is one of them. Although a few have claimed that Cumberbatch was only nice to Depp because he needed to act that way to publicize their movie Black Mass Together as a fan wrote. Listen, I know Johnny Depp is probably innocent, but that's a press tour. They're supposed to act all buddy-buddy to advertise any movie they're in. Also, some fans have studied the reactions from the circle of celebrities and have concluded that celebrities are only being kind and drawn to Johnny Depp because he's trending in the good light of social media, while some celebrities are still holding back their reaction and support due to their career and reputation. One fan wrote, Hashtag Depp Her Trial. Isn't it sweet how Hollywood celebrities are starting to defund Johnny Depp now because it's trending? Yet they didn't bat an eye when he was fired and mercilessly cancelled. They did not want to lose their jobs. Me Too was on its high, etc. Totally understand them. If you are not 100% sure of his innocence, you don't risk your own career. Just look at what happened to JD, another commented. It's like in every workplace situation. People are afraid to get sacked, cancelled as well. Even if they know it's terribly wrong not to stand up for the truth, they fear about their own career and keep quiet. Like in war, afraid to disappear, fear, little or brave enough, a fan added. Well, there you have it. Benedict Cumberbatch has yet again shown to the world his loving and supportive nature with his close relationship to the Pirates of the Caribbean star. We could even conclude that Depp has invested quite a lot in relationships and friendships, leaving little or no room for foes and enemies. However, do you think that this has given Johnny an edge in the defamation trial or the relationships he has built and sustained with remarkable people will make no difference in the outcome of the trial? Let us know what you think in the comments section below. Also like the video and subscribe to our channel. We'll see you next time for another juicy review.